it, right? And all of this, as we find out that 2012 will be a record in the last five decades of gold purchases, not just by central banks like Russia, Mexico, and many others, in, in China, of course, number one uh, demand, but of the IMF, too. Remember, IMF is buying gold in huge amounts. Now, that's interesting. The dollar has always been the safe haven, and the media continues to report that, oh, the, you know, with the, with the euro trading at a two-year low, now at 125 against the dollar, that uh, people are going to T-bills. They're going to uh, the dollar. Yesterday, I read a story that investors don't know where to put their money because uh, gold, you know, beginning to maybe be in the bubble, they said, and, uh, and that T-bills are better, even though the yields aren't too good. I'll tell you what, the media, just like they hyped Facebook, just like they told you Facebook was one of the best opportunities ever, um, while telling you gold is a bubble and is for crazy people and is not for, you know, the, the, the regal um, elites on Wall Street, um, they're totally off on this as well. Here's how they ended this AP article about U.S. De declines to cite China as a currency manipulator. Because if, if they did cite China as a currency manipulator, Obama was going to have to initiate negotiations that could lead to trade uh, trade sanctions imposed on China, right? Anybody who believes that, um, I have a, a ranch in Pluto that I can sell you. But they said Mitt Romney, who he, Mitt Romney claims he's going to label China a currency manipulator from day one, which I'll, 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 I'd love to see that. That almost sounds like Obama claiming he was going to close Guantan Guantanamo Bay on day one. All of this is some hardcore propaganda, and. Sometimes it's hard to understand w what level propaganda it is. But again, I think the Facebook a uh, IPO, a lot to be learned from it. But one of them is the, IP the propaganda by the corporate mainstream media in collusion with this government and with the banking cartels that run our economy. The last thing this article said, which is very important, U.S. trade deficit with China widened in March. Oh, really? Uh, the Commerce Department said earlier this month, the deficit with China this year is on pace to exceed last year's gap of $295 billion, an all-time high, not to mention that now they're saying new budget deficit figures for last year, $5 trillion budget deficit. Remember, I've said that I think this year we're going to hit an $18 trillion deficit. Um, of course, if we get past the, uh, the uh, new um, debt ceiling limit that's coming up soon, but that was all based on some kind of crisis event that I still think will happen. Uh, we'll will require large vasts of dollars to be created digitally bup, 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 in the computer. That said, I wanted to just um, tell you that the, the, just this week alone, the way that this government has addressed China and what's going on, I think to me is significant and signals something on the horizon. Again, let's review quickly and summarize. The U.S. government taking a very lean position towards China and really basically bowing to China and to their currency. Um, also to their demands and, and, and appeals to please buy more treasuries, China. Um, also the fact that banks, central banks around the world, buying gold by the ton. Gold today rallied a little bit, so did silver up 58 cents. But gold's been hit hard, so is silver. And you ask yourself, why? Why is gold down when the risk is at an all-time high in Europe. And then the last thing is Greece. Given a few, a small window, potentially leaving the euro any day, uh, amidst now allegations that they've been given hundreds of billions of dollars in secret loans. All of this to me spells more crisis and turmoil. And does that mean you should be buying gold or selling gold, or buying silver or selling silver? I'll leave that up to you. I'm your internet anchorman, Fabian for Liberty. Uh, great Memorial Day weekend. Thank you for all of you that are